there are a number of misconceptions about human language. One of them is that uh, parents teach children to speak. We know that that's not true because children who grow up without speaking parents but with other children can develop a, a sign language just by spontaneously interacting. We also know that even when children do have parents, they pay much more attention to their uh, peers. If someone moves from one country to another, they may never master the new language, but their children will pick it up much better than they do just from interacting with other kids in the playground. Another misconception is that rules of grammar are things that you learn in school or from editors or English teachers. In fact, there are far more sophisticated rules of grammar that just determine the order of words in our ordinary conversation, much more sophisticated than what your school teacher ever taught you. Universal grammar is a, a term invented by Noam Chomsky to refer not so much to a list of er the things that all languages have in common, but rather to the um, underlying logic or plan or guidelines for human language, which he proposes is uh, wired into the brain and allows language acquisition to happen. So it's not that anyone is born with language. Obviously, we're not born with English or Japanese and so on. We know that because of immigration. If someone moves to a new country, their child will not speak the language they speak, but the language of the environment. However, the question is, what makes language acquisition possible to begin with? Why does a human learn to speak, but a, a cat won't, even if the cat hears the same sentences? How come the best uh, computer program in existence can't learn to speak the way a child does? Well, the child obviously knows precisely how to analyze the speech coming from other parents, how to chop it into words, how to uh, peel off rules that order nouns and verbs and subjects and objects. And it's that ability, the ability to hear a stream of sound as being composed of grammatical elements that uh, you can call universal grammar. The hypothesis would be that there, is a, there are differences in the uh, precise genes between humans and other animals, just like there are differences in genes between any other two animals you want to compare, and that those genes change the way the uh, brain develops in utero and after birth that uh, gives the brain the ability to uh, wire itself up in a way that allows the brain to analyze uh, speech or gestures in grammatical terms. So it would be a certain tendency for the brain to develop circuits for analyzing signals from other people as having a grammatical structure that can be used to convey meaning.